Do you enjoy a thrilling speed? China, after all, has the world's largest network of high-speed railways. It stretches across the entire country for a whopping 15,500 miles. However, that all sounds quite impressive. You might be left wondering why they would spend so much money building such a massive bullet train system when airplanes already exist. Well, stick around till the end because that's what exactly we're going to see in today's video. Before we jump in, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on the post notification. So, without further ado, let's roll into the video. Let's assume you want to travel between Beijing and Hong Kong. I'm guessing the first thought that comes to your mind is why not take a plane? It will be the quickest road to the destination, right? But are you exactly sure of that? To begin, you must arrive at the Beijing airport and then find a way into the massive multi-terminal transportation system. If you arrived at the airport early, you just have to wait a little longer. And then what? There's a good chance the flight might get delayed. Then there is the problem of China's tremendously congested airspace. This is compounded by a severe scarcity of landing slots. So what do you get? Long and even tiresome delays, right? Let's consider whatever the case may be, your plane finally takes off. You'll be in Hong Kong in 3 hours and 40 minutes. But it is still too soon to celebrate. You'll arrive at the airport, which is located on an island, which implies that you'll need to take another train to get into the city. That is what pretty much your entire journey will kinda look like. Now, looking at the other side of the coin, what about the bullet trains? To begin with, the majority of core train stations are located downtown, making them easily accessible by the subway. Moreover, you will not be subjected to extensive pre-boarding security. And even if there are delays, they are infrequent and significantly shorter than those experienced at airports. Additionally, with their wider seats, more legroom provides you with more freedom to move around, unlike airplanes. Besides, we all know passengers on modern bullet trains have more comfort. When you reach Hong Kong, the train will take you to the central Kulun station, which is pretty convenient. However, the most important factor is the price. For a flight from Beijing to Hong Kong, you can pay as much as $500. However, this same journey by train will cost you significantly less, around $150. When it comes to travel time, the train journey takes around 5 hours longer. That is correct. However, you should keep in mind that the 3 hours and 40 minutes it takes to fly between Beijing and Hong Kong is only the flight duration. If you include everything here such as the flight delays, the security checks, commutes to and from the airport, well, you get the idea. Nowadays, almost every Chinese travelers prefer high-speed trains over airplanes when traveling less than 500 miles or approximately the distance from San Diego to Sacramento, California. While there isn't much of a difference in travel time, when taking into account the entire journey, the train ticket is usually twice or perhaps three times less expensive compared to the airplanes. Traveling by plane between Hong Kong and Changsha, for example, takes around 3 hours and 35 minutes and costs up to 330 bucks. However, taking the bullet train will save you both time and money. The trip will take 3 hours and 12 minutes and cost around only $76. As a result, airplanes are being forced to reduce or eliminate services that compete with high-speed trains. For instance, when the bullet train line connection from Chengdu to Xi'an was opened, the leading airlines on that route lessened daily flights from some dozens to two or three per day. China's air travel appears to be neither the cheapest nor the most convenient mode of transportation. However, what are the additional benefits of constructing such a huge high-speed rail network? How is China completely dominating the world with its railways? Take a look for yourself. The majority of the European countries must spend around 15 to 23 million dollars to construct just one mile of high-speed rail. In the United States itself, construction costs are even higher at around 33 million dollars per mile. China, on the other hand, spends only 10 to 12 million dollars per mile of railroad. That describes why China has twice as many bullet railway lines as there are in the entire world when combined. Not to mention, the ease of access and the comfort levels in the bullet trains is really really good. But in comparison to the United States and Europe, how has China tried to keep the cost so low? Because Chinese salaries are substantially lower than those in the West. That means less money goes to the construction workers. Additionally, high-speed railroads are constructed using indigenous materials. That is a great way for saving money as well as supporting the local economy. The most important aspect, however, is that all railroad components like tracks and embankments are all standardized. This means that producers could just copy-paste to create the next bridge component, which significantly reduces the cost. Furthermore, China's high-speed rail lines have numerous viaducts. 
Even though they are costly, they both save farmlands and help trains in crossing rivers. Moreover, there is a trick that reduces the cost of their production. It's that standardization thing all over again. You will probably not see a breathtaking variety of distant viaduct designs. Additionally, bridge beams are either 78 or 104 feet in length with no other choices available. By the way, all of these beams are made in temporary factories situated along the future railways. As a result, there is no need to carry the beams over a 5 mile distance and it appears as though China is not about to stop improving its railway system anytime soon. What's more fascinating about the country's railway network is that it will soon move underwater. Isn't that impressive? Shortly, they plan to begin construction of a 14 mile high speed rail line from Zhaoshan, an island city which is near Chinese east coast, to Ningbo, a port city south of Shanghai. This rail network includes a 10 mile long tunnel beneath the sea, which will be the China's first underwater high speed railway tunnel. It will also reduce traveling time between the cities from 4.5 hours by bus and half an hour by car to an 80 minute comfortable bullet train journey. These trains will travel at a top speed of 155 miles an hour. These trains will travel at a top speed of 155 miles an hour, which is slower than several other bullet trains, but it's still very impressive. But that's not all. China has many more incredible plans. They want to have a sprawling high-speed railway system to connect around 80% of all cities with population over 1 million people. This network would reach a whooping 18,650 miles. By comparison, the circumference of the Earth itself is 24,901 miles. Damn, that's really fast. Lastly, China not only has the world's biggest high-speed rail network but also the fastest trains in the world. Shanghai Transrapid, also known as Shanghai Maglev, runs between Shanghai Pudong Airport and Longyang Road Station, where the passengers could easily change the Shanghai Metro line to reach the city center. Maglev trains employ magnetic repulsion to both lift the train off the ground and accelerate it ahead, reducing friction. After almost three years of research and experimentation, China had finally constructed an ultra-lightweight and strong train, laying the technical groundwork for the production of five different sets of maglev construction models. Those working in the project believe it would totally revolutionize China's transportation scenario, closing the gap between high-speed rail and air travel. According to CRRC Deputy Head Engineer Ding Sansan, it takes roughly around 4.5 hours by the airline, 5.5 hours by high-speed rail but will only take around 3.5 hours with the new high-speed maglev to reach Shanghai from Beijing. The train's top speed is a mind-blowing 268 miles an hour, so the 19-mile journey takes hardly around 8 minutes. However, most passengers even prefer to take the subway to and from the airport as it is a much cheaper alternative to the maglev trains. But if time is money, I'm sure one would even pay for the convenience. Moreover, how wonderful would that be to gaze out of the window while rushing by at top speeds? If you are a fan of blurs, of course. Have you ever taken a bullet train ride? Do let me know down in the comment section below. Congratulations on making it to the end. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel and share it with those who seek a thrilling ride. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video.